Sit down, Vinnie. Oh, Claire, Cora and Mary are leaving any moment now. Vinnie, you know I like to live well. And I want my family to live well. But this house must be run on a business basis. I must know how much money I'm spending and what for. For instance, if you recall, a week ago, I gave you six dollars to buy a new coffee pot. Yes, because you broke the old one. You threw it right on the floor. I'm not talking about that. Now, I find here it among my... It was a pity to break that nice coffee pot, Claire. It was imported from France, and that little shop has stopped selling them. But what has that... They to... said the tariff wouldn't let them, and that's your fault because you're always voting to raise the tariff. The tariff protects America against cheap foreign labor. Now, this bill... The tariff does nothing but put up the prices... And that's hard on everybody, especially the farmer. Finney, I wish to heaven you wouldn't talk about matters you don't know anything about. I do, too, know about them. Yes. Miss Gulick says that every intelligent woman should have some opinion Who about... Who, may I ask, is Miss Gulick? She's the current events woman I told you about, and the tickets are a dollar every Tuesday. Do you mean to tell me that a pack of idle-minded females pay a dollar apiece to hear another female gavel about the events of the day? Listen to me if you want to know anything about the events of the day. But you get so excited, Claire. And besides, Miss Gulick says that our president, whom you're always belittling, prays to God for guidance. Vinny, what happened to that six dollars? What six dollars? I gave you six dollars to buy a new coffee pot. Now I find that you apparently got one at Lewis and Congress and charged it. Here's the bill. One coffee pot, five dollars. So you owe me a dollar, and you can hand it right over. I'll do nothing of the kind. What did you do with that six dollars? Well, Claire, I can't tell you now, dear. Why didn't you ask me at the time? I give up. Uh, wait a minute. I spent four dollars and a half for that new umbrella. Now we're getting somewhere. One umbrella, four dollars and fifty cents. And that must have been the week I paid Mrs. Tobin for two extra days washing. Mrs. Tobin. That's two dollars more. That two makes dollars. that makes uh six dollars and fifty cents. And that's another fifty cents you owe me. I don't owe you anything. What you owe me is an explanation of where my money's gone. I do the best I can to keep down expenses. You know yourself, cousin Phoebe spends twice as much as we do. Now don't talk to me about your cousin Phoebe. You talk about your own relatives enough. That's not fair, Vinnie. When I talk about my relatives, I criticize them. I can't even speak of Cousin Phoebe. You can speak of her all you want to. But I won't have Cousin Phoebe or anyone else dictating to me how to run my house. I didn't say a word about her dictating. Claire, you know she isn't that. You said... You said... Well, I don't know what you said now. You never stick to the point. Now, we're going over this account book. Item by item. I find here a bill for $38. I don't know what you expect of me. I tire myself out chasing up and down those stairs all day long, trying to look after your comfort, to bring up our children. I do the mending and the marketing. Now you want me to be an expert bookkeeper, too. I want to be reasonable, but can't you understand? I'm doing all this for your own good. Oh. <laughs> well, I suppose I'll have to go ahead just paying the bills and hoping I've got enough money in the bank to meet them. But it's all very discouraging. I'll try to do better, Claire. Well, that's all I'm asking. Well, I'll make out the checks and sign them. But uh, <clears throat> maybe I haven't any right to sign those checks since in the sight of the Lord I haven't any name. That's right. <laughs> Claire, to make those checks good, you'll have to be baptized right away. Benny, the bank doesn't care whether I've been baptized or not. Well, I yeah. care. And no matter what Dr. Lloyd said, I'm not sure we're really married. Benny, we have four children. If we're not married now, we never will be. Claire, Dr. Lloyd said this morning... Well, that's all, Vinnie. Uh, hadn't you better go tell Whitney to watch for the cab? Not before you give me that dollar and a half. What dollar and a half? The dollar and a half you owe me. I don't owe you any dollar and a half. 
I gave you money to buy a coffee pot for me, and somehow it turned into an umbrella for you. Why, Clarence Day, what kind of man are you? Quibbling about a dollar and a half when your immortal soul is in danger. And what's more, all if right. you... All right, all right, all right. Thank you, Claire. Now the accounts are all straight again. Thank you.